one of which is outreach. Today, we're excited to welcome a few groups from our community to share with them why and how we choose to raise our animals in a holistic and low stress environment. <laughs> That's like, you know, that's like the hand sanitizer you've been putting on your hands all this time at school. It does the same thing, you know. This is more moisturizing, though. <laughs> Bandit, thank you. The most important thing is that everybody stay safe. These are animals and somewhat unpredictable. They're pretty well trained, but they're cattle and horses and dogs. we got a whole bunch going on. So, Crystal and Jordan will kind of give you directions and just follow what they're saying. So, today, we separated, so we brought the cattle down and we separated them into different groups. One will be headed downstate in about a week to be sold, and the other one is going to be kept for the winter. Yep. Jumping jacks, air jumping jacks. <laughs> it was crazy. I imitated a bird for like an hour. I did not know these cows did not like birds. They've got a huge bubble, yes. You pretty oh, yeah. much do that and they'll walk the other way. <laughs> Even with me, a few steps forward. Slide a little bit more towards Crystal. Yeah. And notice by doing that, you pushed them more to the right. You got it. Oh, it's like we've done it before. Don't do what I do and fall into the fence. Or the poop. Or the poop. Or the poop, yeah. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go right along the fence. This is truly a funnel. It gets narrower as we get closer to the alleyway. Yeah. Most of the... Uh, Alright, I'm going to move oh, over. Most of my stuff are very bushy. Oh, that's good. We're good right now. They're running in. Um, if you stay close behind them, they have no need to turn around. Which, 
feel like everything goes to, we want to make the right thing easy, which is keep going forward, and the wrong thing difficult. All right, we made it down, mission. Yeah. No, this is the let's go, like, spot, so. Yeah. Why are you? Because they want to go back out. They're no dummies. Yeah. Like I said, the biggest ones will just walk right in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see the name yet. What I was doing was down there at the gate, we uh, basically made sure that the cows were going where they're supposed to go. And you did a great job of keeping track of who's who because they were all written out like number two goes to this mm -hmm. pen. Uh, lipstick goes to this field, and oh, yeah. you're pretty much managing that whole thing. This is the one Jordan chased for about three miles when it was 24 hours old. It's only because I wore the shirt that we were good. It's Bino. Send all the way up. Bino? Yep. Here they come. So, tell us about the food. It was amazing. Shepherd's pie, beans, and the biscuits, you know, crispy, chewy on the inside. Probably one of the best things I've had, biscuit-wise. The shepherd's pie was amazing. I and mean, the sourdough and the biscuits really sells oh, it, too. Yeah, sourdough biscuits. Yep. Amazing. To be food? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, don't it did not it last. Yeah. Don't break it. did not last. Yes. All right, so tell us about the food. Probably one of the best things I've had in... A very, very long time. Maybe the best thing I've had? I don't know, because it's been a while since I've had shepherd's pie, and shepherd's pie one is one of my favorite foods, so Ooh. having that here was awesome. The hot sauces were great. I don't know where you guys got them, but I want I want more of them. It has a picture of like a death shark on the front of it, so you yeah. can't really go wrong with that. I think... Oh, and lots of Cholula. Lots oh, yeah. of Cholula. And the, and the biscuits. The biscuits were good. That hundred year old start.